to create an XML document, simply click the XML schema file here, file name, do a right click and generate XML file and just name your file infobox instance next by definition uh, all the attributes are optional so we are going to have the Eclipse space group create those elements for us if need be you can create additional ones if it applies and it's also populate some uh, data all of those uh, attributes for us finish this is our instant document on the left hand side you are seeing the all the elements that we have with uh, identifiers in front of them TNS this is the, our namespace identifier that you might see up here and infobox is our uh, root element so if you click this plus sign so you can see the attributes so for the author simply you're just going to enter it here in the content uh, area original title and display title are the same the language uh, the scheme that we can use is uh, you know with the language identifier also the region identifier like en hyphen us so the scheme for that one you might remember w uh, 3c oh I'm sorry it is RTF 5646 and the value for that one is basically us en oh I'm sorry en us first the language identifier then the region identifier uh, genre which is fiction and for the publisher which is Canada And publication date we are going to use four digit year and two digit month and for that we can use W3C DTF encoding scheme or control vocabulary in a sense and which is 2001-09 and the number of pages is 401 okay, here we go if for example we need another genre you can simply because we specify some elements optional so or the author for example simply right click on the root element and add child so you can see all the elements that you uh, that can repeat author and genre elements can repeat therefore you are seeing them other other since other elements do not repeat uh, they are not made available to us so that you couldn't make any mistakes and save the file and you need to make sure uh, it is valid so you need to validate the, your XML file simply right click on the XML file name now it is valid if you look at the source view so that's how the document looks like it's a language and you can see the encoding scheme and the value for it same thing for publication date